guys, it's GameRamer here. So today we're gonna go ahead and check out some footage that I took when I visited probably one of the greatest toy stores ever. So this place is called Lost in Time Vintage Toy Store. This is located in Maryland. I'll go ahead and drop the link below so that you can go ahead and check out their Amazon store, their eBay store, and they even gave me a tour of their warehouse. So today we're going to go ahead and recap all of the footage of this amazing place and check out everything that I scored while I was there. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first of all, Lost in Time Vintage Toy Store is such an amazing place to go to. They don't just have vintage toys, they have tons of video games as well. So I just love how this toy store is set up, as everything is just all over the place and each time you kind of walk around the store, you notice something different than what you originally saw the first time. So when I first went into this store a while ago, I had a blast. I met the owners, I met the people who work there, and they are just some great people. They're very helpful, and they just have so much knowledge for everything that they have. So I just love this place, and I loved coming back here, and I will definitely have to continue shopping there, as I'm sure that each time I go in, I see different things. So of course, when you first walk in, you'll notice that they have the counter there, they have tons of showcases, they have a couple different rooms, so it's kind of all scattered all over the place, but this is the kind of toy store that I like. I like how you walk up and down each aisle, you see all of these shelving areas, and you just see so much cool stuff. So of course, as you're walking up and down the aisles, you'll notice that a lot of the items are kind of together by different categories, but then you will see tons of items, kind of like those hidden gems, just kind of tucked away as you're walking around. I just love how they have a mixture of the showcases that hold a lot of graded items, a lot of the more expensive items, and then around the tops of the store they have more expensive items as well. And then they have just so much cool stuff. They have some loose figures and some bins. They have this little rack area where I found some dollar items. And then as you're kind of walking around, you just notice so much out of the corner of your eye. So of course when I went in there, I go right over to the video game section and I notice that they're actually putting out some brand new video games that they were pricing. So of course I scored tons of video games as they have a few different showcased areas. They even have a whole bookshelf of some of the more common games. They just have some quality items just kind of mixed in and it's definitely a lot more than what I saw last time. So one of my favorite things to do is when I'm actually walking around these stores, I like to look for all of the items that I'm collecting for. Like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, of course I saw that Spike and Volley Don, and that figure was pretty cool, as I don't actually have that one as a carded figure. They have tons of carded figures, they have flying props for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it's just mixed in with stone protectors, and so many other cool lines that you see. So I just really love seeing some of the newer turtles, some of the older turtles, just all kind of mixed in. And then as we're walking around, you'll notice that they kind of have some areas dedicated to one particular franchise. Like they have an entire Star Wars area, but then right across, you'll notice that we have the mask. We have some Casper toys. So we just have so much cool stuff from the 80s, the 90s, even before then as well. So as we're kind of dropping it through, I noticed this entire line of Casper figures, which I don't recall from back in the day. A lot of these are modeled after the movie characters that you remember seeing, and it's just crazy to see all of these carded figures, all for pretty reasonable prices, pretty mint looking. They have Shrek figures, Harry Potter, they have Lord of the Rings, they just have some double dragon items as well, some complete in box characters and weapons then as we kind of move over you'll notice that we have tons of dolls and action figures we have more teenage Mutant ninja turtle toys we have these mutation box sets we have these muta bikes we just have so much cool stuff these are all still sealed don's telephone line rider backpack 
just so many cool toys that I never thought that I would see still mint, still complete in the box, never been opened, never broken the seal, some more Mighty Mutations characters as well, just some that I would love to have in my collection one day. Of course we have tons of spawn characters, a whole entire Batman playset, which is pretty rad as it has this whole entire kind of get up, this little dressing style that I would have loved to have back in the day. Of course there's some Power Rangers mixed in, even though there's a whole area dedicated for more of the Power Ranger toys, the figures, the bad guys, all of the different things like that. And then we have this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle flying disc. We have a whole nother shelf. This one kind of has a mix of the Simpsons. We have G.I. Joe. Some more Power Rangers. I found these little Micro Machines characters. This one is for the Pink Ranger. This one's actually really cool. I remember having these Micro Machine toys back in the day. Then we have an entire shelf kind of dedicated to more Star Wars carded figures. A lot of these from the 90s. So it looks like there is a good mix of a lot of different genres. Then of course we have some Captain Planet and the Planeteers Toxic Sludge Dump. And then we have some Jurassic Park, The Shadow, we have more G.I. Joe characters, we have even some monster characters like the Mole People, some newer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, The Mask. We have just tons of these characters and figures kind of mixed in. I was pretty shocked as I was looking here because I was looking for some Nickelodeon stuff and as I moved some things out of the way, I saw that we had some Jimmy Neutron figures. Some of these are just really cool. This is the Nickelodeon, kind of from the 2000s. So as we take a closer look, you'll notice that there is an entire line of these figures here with Jimmy Neutron. You could go ahead and collect the full set. A lot of the characters from the movies and some of the main characters. And then there's some Tomb Raider figures, kind of jam-packed in there. It's just everywhere that you look, you notice something different. Just seeing the mask, seeing some Muppets, you even have some Zorro figures. And then of course I found another Jimmy Neutron toy. So this one was kind of mixed in with the set. Then on to this area, we saw some completely sealed Power Rangers. So of course we have some of these huge play sets. We have Ghostbusters. We have Batman, Legends of the Dark Knight. We have all of these loose Infinity characters. We have Dark Water. So there's Pirates of the Dark Water. We have some Flintstones. Then we have tons of X-Men and Marvel characters. Some Spider-Man, which are definitely pretty cool. I would love to start collecting some of these lines just because the box art is amazing. It's so beautiful, so colorful. Just crazy to see all of these complete box sets here with just amazing stuff. So each area that you look at, you'll kind of notice that there's something that you didn't see the first time. So this is the skyscraper set right here for Spider-Man. So we have tons of those characters, tons of those little collectors, little characters. Then we have some of these Marvel heroes, this Titanium series. I actually have that figure. And then we have another one, we have the Green Goblin. And then I even have some of the different variants of that set as well. And then just kind of to get an overview of everything, there's just so much when you first walk in. So I completely missed a lot of these cards, these sports cards, and everything like that when I first walked into the store. But as you can tell, each row is just jam-packed with these over-the-top shelves that just have so many different figures, so many different loose figures kind of bagged up on display. And then you'll just see a little bit of everything kind of scattered throughout everywhere. So it's just so much stuff. This is probably one of my favorite toy stores to go into. As just look how beautiful all of those showcases are with all of those different characters and those graded figures. And then of course on top we have more of those Power Rangers and more of those little box sets that are completely sealed. You have things hanging from the ceiling. You just have stuff pretty much everywhere. If I could have more room, I would definitely have a lot more toy lines like this. Kind of just dedicated with all of these Hulk characters. You have Disney kind of jumbled in there. All of that Star Wars stuff. Even store displays. You'll see those Star Wars glasses. That little store display. That Marvel sign. Just some of them from back in the day that I definitely remember. And then of course all of this Batman stuff. Kind of jam-packed in these 
little showcases behind even more showcases some more he-man masters of the universe just kind of jam-packed and then as you turn each aisle is just completely filled up with as many toys as you could possibly see and as you're kind of walking around you'll notice that there's layers and layers and you just have to keep on digging through each of those layers because you never know what you might find there's tons of japanese figures as well so you don't just have american lines you have a mixture of everything and then you'll see pretty much every line from every different era and then as we kind of go through of course you just keep seeing more and more throwbacks like some more ghostbusters you'll see more batman characters some of the older lines that i definitely remember with that animated series legends of batman some more x-men you even have some wrestlers jam-packed in there just so many cool items and it's just a blast each time i go in there because you never know what you might find even this dark knight you'll notice that there's a couple different in the series there they're not all next to each other so it really makes you want to keep digging keep discovering more items and then even more wrestling characters as well some more batman lines and just some dc characters kind of mixed in but it's just really awesome to see everything that they have as you never know what you might be looking for you might find something that you didn't expect or something that you needed to go ahead and complete the set or something that you want to start as we go ahead and take a little break of the store here i just wanted to quickly input this as well so as i was there i noticed that each time we talk they talk about having thousands and thousands of items in their amazon store and their ebay store so each of the items that you see in their actual physical store are different than what you notice online so they said that it would be way too complicated to have the same inventory as things would be selling in the store and then things would be selling online it probably wouldn't add up and it would just make it a lot more difficult to keep checking so they have an entire warehouse location just jam-packed full of items so they actually took me on a tour and i love the setup and the system that they have so as i kind of walked in it's actually right down the little shopping center you just see shelving units and boxes jam-packed everything kind of has some sort of label on it so the different shelves in the different areas kind of help them locate where items are for ebay and amazon you just see so many different characters so many different items that you wouldn't expect to see as you would think that everything would be in the store but a lot of people tend to buy stuff on ebay so each thing has some sort of letter to show which row it goes in there's some sort of number as well so that they can quickly find it in their little category and this catalog that they have there's so many barbie figures of course there's tons of goosebumps i saw some of these really awesome goosebumps characters in the box freaky faces curly we have some other ones as well it's just really cool to see as i didn't see a lot of that in the store so i was definitely blown away seeing all of this amazing and cool stuff we have this martian panic for the nintendo wii comes with this light gun this little blaster with the game included we have some x-men we just have so much stuff some star wars transformers you'll see just tons of stuff that you didn't even see in the store so it's like an entirely different store a different location i was definitely blown away and it's really cool to kind of get one of these behind the scenes sort of looks and if you do actually see anything that you like on ebay or amazon you could go ahead and just message them and then they'll go ahead and save the shipping if you would like to go in there and actually you know pull it and have it for whenever you come in and you could just pick it up that way instead of worrying about shipping some of these amazing items and then i just loved seeing so much stuff jam-packed in these boxes there were just aisles and rows of all of these boxes and each one that you pulled out was a completely different box set of course we have some more teenage Mutant ninja turtles that i saw and just look at how many stacks and boxes and rows there are these are all the a's and some of the b's so it's just a pretty neat setup and i hadn't seen anything like that i love seeing these nintendo power magazines that they have everything's just kind of separated and just so well organized for the system that they used i just love kind of seeing all of this stuff jam-packed 
course you have Barbies with Star Wars. You just have so much cool stuff kind of in between. Some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys as well. The mask. We just have so much stuff ranging from the 80s and 90s here. And I just loved every second of this as there was just so much stuff to see. So I'm hoping next time I go, maybe I'll go ahead and actually purchase some of this stuff. There were some old Flintstones toys and items, tons of play sets, more Goosebumps on top there. So it's just insane that they have entirely different stores, entirely different areas where they have amassed so much stuff and they have to kind of go through here and then ship out everything. They have a whole entire station where they can go ahead and prep. But just seeing all of the amazing stuff in the store and then coming into this warehouse and seeing so much more just completely blew me away. So I am just shocked. But I'll go ahead and leave all of the links below so that you can check out their online stores. You can check out everything that they have on Amazon, everything that they have on eBay. And now you know kind of how their system is and how much stuff that they have. This is not a store that just has a few items. They are constantly getting hundreds and thousands of items all the time. They're buying complete collections. They're buying so much cool stuff. I even love seeing these giant shaped turtles, floor puzzles. I just love those old vintage box styles with the color. Just so much beautiful artwork on all of these boxes. Definitely a trip down memory lane when I would go into these stores from back in the day and find all of this cool stuff Mostly in the 90s when I would go to KB Toys or Toys R Us. But just the amount of stuff, seeing it in here. And then of course, jumping back into the toy store. I just had such a magical time there. There's always so much stuff jam-packed. You see tons of board games. There's tons of store displays. I just love seeing all of those Lego store displays. And then of course, you just keep looking around and you see something different each time. So of course, this is a little Star Wars section. But then you'll see all of those hidden Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys from back in the day, flashlights, a whole sewer lair, little play set right there. You have tons of the newer figures as well, kind of remodeling from the movies back in the day. Then we have all of these different sealed and graded figures behind the counter there and all of these little showcases. So it's just really cool seeing the amount and the variety that they kind of have as everywhere you look it's something different i love that turtles arcade game up there in the corner all of the spider-man stuff star wars and just so many of these comics we have so much graded stuff i hadn't seen as many graded toys as i did until when i actually came in here the last time and i saw all of these graded items in these little showcases it's just crazy to me to see all of this and all of this stuff never been open never been played these amazing collector items here that someone will definitely enjoy in their collection. Then of course we just keep going on. There's tons of comics. So many boxes of comics. And so many boxed figures all throughout the entire store here. Each wall that you go to is definitely jam-packed full of so many cool items. It's just insane to see everything lined up. Everything kind of set up the way that it is. And there's really no wasted space as you kind of look around and everything has a particular spot filled. It's just a collector's dream, anyone's dream really, to go in these places and just see so much cool stuff. So much stuff that you remember from back in the day. A little trip down memory lane. And it's just great because everyone is so helpful and everyone kind of talks to you. They will take the items down if you can't see some of the prices on them. And they'll even work out some deals with you, of course, the more that you buy. So I really enjoyed my time in this location. I love seeing so much stuff in all of these showcases. It really was a great time. And it makes me want to collect so many different lines here. There's so many Transformers that you just don't see every day. Just so much cool stuff. A lot of these amazing Ghostbuster figures. I would love to start collecting some of those lines as I used to play with the Firehouse back in the day. And it's just really neat to see all of these Power Ranger items. Some of the new and the older stuff is just really cool, especially still sealed. We even have some cool little store displays jam-packed in these showcases as well. And just these larger big statues 
and characters like that. And then of course I also love the other side because it has a lot more jam packed as well. You have a couple of these little areas where they have some cheaper items. So there's a couple little bins where they have some dollar toys in there. Just some of those old McDonald's style toys. You have a whole line of lunch boxes. You have a whole section just kind of dedicated to more Barbies and dolls and things like that. So I just love how everything primarily has a location. But then of course you'll see some of the kind of hidden gems mixed in as well. Of course as I'm walking around I keep noticing more and more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle items. Just some crazy characters and wacky things that I definitely don't remember seeing from back in the day. And just some items that I really thought are pretty cool looking. So I would love to have some of this stuff on display. But I just love how everything is just kind of hidden in there. Even that Donkey Kong Super Mario action figure complete in the box. That thing is pretty awesome as well. So there is a mix of sports. There's a mix of toys. There's a mix of video game related items. There's even a full shelf dedicated towards video games. And then a whole display area that they have of showcases just full of them as well. So I just love seeing all of these older play sets and even stuffed animals. They have some of those as well. Some that I remember scoring back in the day at some yard sales. And then even this Ren and Stimpy character. Just some really cool stuff along with all these Funko Pops, these vinyl figures. Just an entire wall dedicated to all of this stuff. And then of course while I was there I scored so much cool stuff. So I'm very excited to show off some of the items that I found. Some of the items that I added to my personal collection. So one of the items that I really wanted to find, I wanted to find some sort of Power Ranger items because I recently picked up an entire Power Rangers lot and I'm really excited to show off that in a later video. So here I scored this right here, this complete in box. This is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We have the Triceratops Battle Bike. So this comes with this little posable Power Ranger is included. It comes with this bike and this little kind of detachable pterodactyl sidecar and a fully articulated Blue Ranger. And then I even found this little Furby, this little McDonald's toy from back in the day. I found this in the little dollar bin over in that little section that they have. And then of course I walked in at a great time because they were pricing some video games. So of course I had to pick up this Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 game on the original PlayStation. I have most of these and I have a lot of them, well all of them for the Nintendo 64. But I loved this game back in the day. This was definitely a great time. I used to play with all of my friends. I had so much fun and I had to score that for a great deal. And then of course all of these games right here. We have so many different Sega Master System games. Games that you just don't see every day. Some of these more so kind of larger titles that everyone needs to have. So of course these were all complete or majority of them. So we have this game right here, Valley of Doom. So I'm not really too sure what this one's about. It looks like some sort of adventure style game with this area. Then of course it comes with the game in there. It comes with the manual. It even comes with this little poster. So I thought that this one was a pretty cool one as I know I don't have it in my set of games and I would love to add more. So of course we have this Afterburner poster which is included. So this is pretty cool. Then on the back it has all the new releases and some gameplay images of different games. Then we have some more titles. We have this one right here. This one says it was a land of peace and plenty until the evil warlocks returned in a storm of ruin and destruction so we have this game then we have some alex kid the lost stars so of course you have to play and collect these alex kid games they are definitely some of the better titles on the sega master system and then we have this one alex kid and miracle world so this one is another one of these little favorite style games that we have. And then we have some Altered Beast, which I did not have in the collection. And this one is a pretty cool kind of beat-em-up style game. So this one is pretty sweet. 
And then we have the Zillion 2, the Tri Formation, a Mega Cartridge. So this one looks like one of those side-scrolling style games. So this one actually looks pretty fun as well. And then as we kind of walked around, I know that many of you guys have seen this in some of the footage already, but I had to pick up these Jimmy Neutron figures as I do have a Nickelodeon shelf upstairs. This one is right on Sky Cycle Goddard. So I had to pick up this, it's still sealed. It shows you all of the different characters that you have to collect on the back for this line. And then of course we have this Yoki and King character as well from the movie. So I just had to pick up both of these Nickelodeon little figures complete in the boxes and I'll have to go for a full set. But some of the ones that I was more particularly interested in were these right here. We have these Ninja Power Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles these are the TMNT 10th Anniversary Pizza Shootin' Power. So we have Pizza Toss and Leo, the Garlicky Wedge Whirlin' Wonder. So this is just a wacky character, a wacky figure. It's complete in this box here, and I just had to add this to the collection because this is so cool. It says Power Launches Real Floatin' Pizza Pie Discs. You control the Pizza Shootin' Power. Then it kind of shows you all of the different head drop in these sewer spitting ninja action mutation toys on the back here so this is definitely pretty cool and then of course i found another one in the set so i had to score this one as well so of course we have leo and then we have pizza toss and don the pepperoni patrol and pizza pal it says power launches real floating pizza pie discs so these are both in pretty decent shape and i figured that they would go great upstairs in the teenage ninja turtle collection so I feel like I definitely got a variety. When I was there, I found some Power Ranger items, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, some Nickelodeon stuff, some old McDonald's toys, and tons of video games. More so for the Sega Master System. I'm still in disbelief and shock since the last time I went in there as I didn't know that they had an entire warehouse of just rows and aisles of this crazy system that they use and it actually works. So I'll definitely drop all of everything in the description below so that you guys can check out this amazing toy store. Probably one of the best that I've ever been to and one that I will continue returning to. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this toy store. Have you ever been there? Is there anything more that you would like to see next time I stop by? Are there any other figures that you saw that you would must have in your collection is there anything that i kind of passed over that i should have definitely picked up and make sure you guys check out the description below because i will put all of their information so if you aren't in maryland to visit their physical store you could check out their online stuff like amazon or ebay so just let me know in the comments below which one of these items was your favorite did you enjoy those sega master system games or any of those some fun ones that you highly recommend what about the turtle figures, that Nickelodeon stuff, or even the Power Rangers figure? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.